Welcome back, Mustangs, to a fantastic episode of Mustang Television. I'm Allison. We have a great show for you today. Stay tuned for a brand new video. Today's trivia question is, what is the only country that is a continent as well? Is it A, North America, B, Australia, C, Petersburg, or D, China? Again, today's trivia question is, what is the only country that is a continent as well? Is it A, North America, B, Australia, C, Petersburg, or D, China? And now over to Allison for some entertainment news. At the beginning of the Los Angeles Angels game, the hitting coach, who was diagnosed with multiple myeloma, threw the first pitch. During the seventh inning, announcers notified fans that Don Baylor broke his right femur and would undergo surgery in a few days. In Texas, Ranger fans disrespected a statue dedicated to the father that lost his life trying to catch a baseball for his son in 2011. Most people used it as a place to trash their empty beer cans for getting the statue's significance. It's safe to say that baseball didn't start off well for the Angels nor the Rangers. In the NBA, the Heat are currently tied with the Pacers in the number one seed. That could change after a few bad games. Wisconsin, Florida, Kentucky, and the University of Connecticut are competing in the Final Four for the National Championship. After some major upsets, there are no longer any perfect brackets. Boys varsity baseball lost on Tuesday against Crawfordsville. Girls varsity softball plays on Saturday at Frontier. This past week, Tyler Starkey retired from track. Reports say that he needs a job for a car. Over to you, Allison. Now it's time for some school news. The Brad Fisher Memorial 3-on-3 three -three tournament will be this Sunday, so sign up if you haven't yet. Jostens will be here April 7th to deliver senior announcements during B&C lunches. The Petersburg Brickyard Run will be on April 12th, beginning at 9 a.m. Open Swim is on Mondays and Sundays. Mondays are from 6 to 8 p.m. and Sundays are from 4 to 8 p.m. Teen Prayer Breakfast will begin at 7 on Wednesday mornings at the new Sterling Christian Church. Devotions begin at 7.20. And last but not least, there will be a talent show on April 18th at 7 o'clock, hosted by Doug Keeling and Kiowa Symington. All talents are welcome. A form can be picked up from any of your teachers or in the guidance office. Sign up now. This is Mustang Television Investigates. Bound Central usually has a calm working environment. Students come to learn, teachers come to teach. But lately things have gotten turned upside down. Join me reporter Tim Liston as we look deeper and further into this issue. Enter Clint Burney, sociology teacher at Found Central High School. Mr. Burney is in his second year of being a teacher. Usually Clint is a happy-go-lucky guy, but recent events have brought out a darker side in him. So describe me what you experienced in your classroom. Three days ago, I walked in my classroom as I'm taking a drink of water. Once I lower the bottle from my mouth, I'm overpowered with the smell of cheap men's cologne. At first, I thought someone had sprayed it in the air, but then I went to sit down in my chair and I realized they had sprayed around the whole room. How did you react? I started questioning the students. None of them confessed to it. So that led me to believe that somebody who wasn't a student of mine ran in my room, sprayed it, and then left in between passing periods. It was a drive-by axing. Does the suspect have a name? We call him the Axe Bandit. And just like that, we have an alias, the Axe Bandit. The definition, one who goes to various classrooms spraying large quantities of cheap body spray. Did you manage to find any evidence of this event? Yes, I located a black body spray bottle. Whoa, what color did you say it was? Black, it's a black bottle. Black, huh? Well that spray bottle from earlier was navy. Mr. Bernie, sociology teacher, or closet colorblind? We put our research team on the job. We're checking for background information via the intranet. Oh, there we go. We found his medical history. We can now, by law, consider Clint Burney colorblind. So Mr. Burney's in the clear. But what about that mysterious fluid he was drinking earlier? Mr. Burney, innocent educator or frat boy on the loose? We sent our forensics team on the job. Looks like everything's good, just no more water. Looks like Clint got off scot-free this time. 
In order to get more information, I sat down with a few of Bernie's students to ask him more about the Axe Bandit. It's our senior student, Sam Darvis. Sam has been in Mr. Bernie's class for four months now. So Sam, tell me what it was like the day the Axe Bandit struck in that classroom. Like, uh, what's cool, Tim? Uh... But like, on a real level, politics is whack. Alright, I'll go ahead and ask the question again. Like, my favorite hat is one that don't fit. This one's I. Right. So tell me what you physically and or mentally experienced the day the Axe Bandit struck. I didn't do it. Nobody said you did it. I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. What do you know about the Axe Bandit? I don't know nothing about the Axe Bandit. I come in here every day, do my work, get paid nothing. Oh, no, nothing! Nothing! No, no, nothing! No. Very good, very good. I'm a hard-working student. So can you tell me what you experienced in Mr. Bernie's class the day the Axe Bandit struck? Oh, I'm not even in his class. Uh, all right. Is it okay if I leave? Sure. Thanks. But when I thought all hope was lost, I remember what young Sam Darvis said to me. Like on a real level, maybe Mr. Bernie's the one who stank, so he have to spray the cologne to cover himself up. Dude's nasty. 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 And just like that, we find a break in the case. Maybe Mr. Bernie is his own worst nightmare. We put him against a lie detector test to find the truth. We have a lie detector test for you to take. Just a paper with a question on it. This isn't a lie detector test. Would you just answer it? Fine. You're lying. What? Looks like we found our guy after all. Clint Burney is the X Bandit. It was a positive day around here as we rejoiced over catching the criminal. But for Clint Burney, a lifetime of shame and darkness has taken over. I'm Tim Liston, signing off. That report was truly inspiring. Follow us on Twitter or Instagram and check us out on YouTube. Again, be sure to pick up a talent show, a talent show form in the guidance office. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week for a brand new show. Eat my beard. Show!